What's up guys, how are you in a day? Welcome back again. I'm your boy BD Saddam's link. Welcome back to another crazy video. Please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam's Link Media. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime I upload. So guys, as telling this video, I want to talk about electricity tariff. Federal government announced that they say FG hikes electricity tariff by 50% effective January 1st. So, uh, for those of you who notice, ever last year I've been talking about this uh, federal government has increased tariff. What I usually buy for 30,000 naira, 5,000 naira is what I buy now for 10,000 naira, 12,000 naira. Now they are telling us that the increment will take effect from January 1st. That should tell us that uh, those increments that they have already increased in December, November, October is illegal. This is the corruption that I'm seeing in this country. You people have not increased. Federal government has not approved the increment. But this company has already increased it by 50%. Now, federal government is coming out now telling us that the increment will take effect from January 1st. So, how am I going to get my money back? The increment that this company has already increased far back at October last year. How am I going to get my money back? Because nobody can tell me that uh, they didn't increase it as, as early as October, November, December. No, they increased it. People were already complaining then. So the, now they are telling us that the, it, it, it will take effect from January 1st. Meanwhile, they have already increased it as far back as October. And the corruption for this country now, wow. So guys, am I the only person that thinks that a shower is a business? Prostitution is a business. I shower people uh, willingly going outside to sell their body. Women willingly going outside to sell their body is a business. So when a woman goes outside to trade sex for money, you, a man who is buying that sex, should be able to pay for it. If you don't pay, I think I will regard it as an assault or rip off. Or simply put, rape by that man. This is a video that will be circulating online concerning a sex worker and a customer. After a royal rumble night, this man refuses to pay this lady. Watch it. I didn't know how to do that for them. If he didn't give me money, I would kill her today. He doesn't want to give me. You see, I have still money. I come let's go to such a bank if you didn't see money. Come let's go to such a bank. I knew he searched me well. well. He's the one that called him. Hello oh, no, guys, uh, this old man had a royal rumble with this girl at night and this man refused to pay this woman. The man is allegedly that this girl stole his money. Meanwhile, this girl saying she didn't think anything that this man must pay her the money that they agreed on. Come on guys. If you are going outside to buy sex, please pay up. Pay up. I think that there should be a rule that because it's it's a breach of contract. I know that uh, I don't want to talk about the sanity concerning the business because because uh, firstly, I will see both the body man and the woman as prostitute. Yeah, it's not only the woman. The, you know, it will just say you know. Or only women nowadays are, reg are regarded as prostitutes. No. Both that man is a prostitute. I will see it as a breach of contract. You cannot just take a lady out, agreed on a certain payment. You take that woman out after that enjoyment, you are saying that you don't want to pay that person. Even God, even God knows. God will even punish that man. Let's be frank. God won't say. That oh why are you trading sex? He's gonna punish that lady for trading sex, and he's gonna punish punish that man for trading sex, 
and for breaching of contract. You know what God talk about deceit. So that man, all those kind of men are, 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 are men that sh that should be arrested. If you if you know you want to enjoy yourself, also have the money to pay for it. And uh, you all know that rude boy Okoye is currently passing through a lot. He has contacted this C19. He said over 10 days, for the past 10 days now, this thing has been dealing with him. And he said he wasn't able to breathe. And he has been struggling. And the thing is real. And don't forget, Rude Boy is one of all those guys that has come out openly saying that, see, this C19 might not be real. But uh, he said experience is the best teacher. That he has contacted it and honestly he doesn't wish it for to for anyone at all now fans a lot of fans are now saying that okay now that rude boy is sick why peter okoye his twin brother don't not reach out to to paul okoye rude boy because he is sick they want peter okoye to publicly acknowledge that rude boy is sick and uh, to wish him well People are already blasting Peter Koye for that. But don't forget when Peter Koye was also sick with this C19, himself and his entire family contacted it. Rude Boy never ever sent any condolences messages publicly. Publicly. I'm, I'm not saying privately because we don't know what's going on, what's going on privately with their life. Rude Boy never did that publicly. So why are you not why are you guys now? uh demanded peter okoye to do it publicly but meanwhile i wish uh good boy well you no know, i wish him to i wish him a very safe quick recovery and me we're talking about c19 they said 721 badge b cup members has contacted this virus nyc member 731 badge b has contacted this virus you know, I think the basic thing in this country is that it's not as if a lot of people don't know if this C19 is real. What people are complaining about is the hike in numbers. They are saying that the numbers that they are giving us are not accurate. This, uh, this uh, organization, uh, publicly owned organization, it's institution by the government people believe that they tend to increase number because they want some kind of financial support from the government just imagine this nyc now coming out that 700 or something cops member has contacted this virus this is what will happen they will write, raise up a memo asking the federal government to provide money for them to buy sanitizer medical equipment for all those 700 or something uh, students and they will benefit through it so the more numbers they have of people who have contacted the this aid or the more number of they have that they have written of people that have of nyc or people that have contacted this virus the more money the federal government will pump it to that uh, that institution so people in nigeria does think that man these people are just using this thing to eat money this thing doesn't really really exist but honestly it does exist it's real but the IQ number is what i am a little bit no i i uh, i don't trust it and of course guys uh, let's talk about uh, erica baby ninja erica i see a lot of women naming their daughters after baby ninja erica two women in within a period of three days has named their daughters after erica and uh erica of course was honored but the thing is that naming your daughter after Erica doesn't actually mean anything because Erica, someone named Erica after Erica. Someone named Baby Ninja Erica after Erica. So Erica is not the first person to be named Erica. Erica is a general name. But me, I'll be damned if my girlfriend or my wife decided to name my daughter after someone and i'm not even aware of because these women just stand up give those uh, their daughter's name 
what has Erica done for crying out loud that will make somebody want to name? Well, I, I don't want to go there because people will be like, oh, Adam Smith is going to another place again. Um, they are saying school is calm. Nigeria school is calm. Let me read what uh, Bibi Ninja Mercy wrote. She said, if you are in school, try and acquire extra skills to help you. Education is not a scam, but the system doesn't help graduates. Well, school, education, see, there's different between school and education. There are even people who are not who have not gone through this school, but, but they are more educated than people that are in school. Just like to be a civilian, to be civilized, you don't need to be educated. There are people who are in school, but, but they are not educated. There are people who are outside who have never gone to this school, but they are more educated than those people. And one thing, school in this country, school in this country is a scam. But education in this country is not a scam. Going to higher institution, going to school, acquiring certificates in this country is a big scam. Because at the end of the day, when you want to use it here, it's a problem. You go outside abroad, you want to use it, you, they don't even acknowledge if you are even gone to any school. They see as, as they see you going to Nigeria school as basis, you still start all over again. The only thing that they, they're going to just accept is your is your why come all those kind of stuff. It's it's really really bad, really 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 absolutely bad. But like I've said, school to me is a big scam. Education is not a scam. So when you are going to school, try to be educated. Education can take you very far, make you acquire a lot of skills a lot of meet a lot of good people have good character know how to interact with people know your place all those things that is what education can give you but school cannot give you like that in nigeria school cannot this stress honestly i regretted going to school in nigeria i regretted going to school in nigeria if i knew if i know what i know if i if i know what i know now if I knew what I know now, sorry, honestly, I won't be able to waste my time going to Polytechnic. The primary school that I went to really, really assisted me because of my principal. The secondary school that I went to really, really assisted me. That, that is the basis. That is what I'm still using to work up to today. Polytechnic was a completely waste of my entire time. I wish I never even attended a polytechnic. But primary school and secondary school, yes, that was the bomb. I really, really acquired a lot of education from that place because of the principal that I have taught me so many things. But may so rest in peace now. Just by the way, it was a boarding school and there's some really, really rugged things were happening, but I still acquired some knowledge. And uh, here's a video of uh, Nigeria artist Bella Smother. Smother, uh, am I pronouncing it well? He was drunk on stage. Guy, drunk on stage. It was his time to leave the stage after he has performed. But because of his way of drinking, he, he forgot. They have to be begging him, saying that, man, Chama, your time don't reach to leave stage, oh. but this guy was still there. Well, uh, well, uh, at the end of the day, uh, they were able to settle all the issues. And meanwhile, to all those people who are planning to marry many wives, this is for you. Say, pregnant, jealous lady, poisoned a stepson to death over her husband, favorizing. 24 years old pregnant woman Mariam has been arrested in a the Unshu state for allegedly poisoning a three year old stepson, Musa, because her husband cared more for the boy's mother. So, this woman poisoned her own stepson with three years because her husband favored that son and that son's mother. Please. Before you go into polygamy family, 
make sure you have read wide make sure you have you know so much about it and you know the possibility of things that might happen and how you can prevent it and how you can work towards having a successful polygamy home <laughs> because it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy well guys uh, let's talk about showware showware has been arrested yeah those of you who know and uh, he was arrested in Abuja the guy is still really really working very very hard to make sure his revolution now see the light and uh, of course this is what Dele Mamadou said about Shoare arrest because he, he was paraded at the court the day before yesterday and uh, of course they were judging his issue but uh, this is what Dele Mamadou said he said what a country Shoare is handcuffed without being a terrorist while some certified bandits are being over pampered and even absorbed into security services this is this too shall pass a country where protesters are handcuffed but bandits are being pampered so i won't say so much about that and uh to end this video sex before marriage this has been a very very huge topic despite we know that sex before marriage is a sin but honestly i can say on my own view that there are some sins that are sweet to commit <laughs> there are some sins that are really really sweet to commit there are some sins you know this one has seen oh but man forget i will commit it this is what someone said, uh, this uh, Nigeria uh, comedian, he said, Sex before marriage is a sin. Even if you use condom, it's still a sin. God has told us to repent of every form of all righteousness. Start this year with a fresh relationship with Jehovah. Hmm. Man, we know it's a sin, but it's a sin that we are ready that me myself I'm ready to begin honestly may God forgive me may God forgive me God forgive me for my yesterday sins for my day for yesterday sins for my today sins and for my tomorrow sins there are some sweet sins <laughs> so guys I thank you very much for watching the boy again I'm Slink I'm gonna see you in my next video have a wonderful day bye in fact I'm I'm gonna do it immediately yeah